Hello friends and happy Friday to you. As I know you guys all are obsessed with flower videos, so I have a treat for you today. We are going to be doing another flower video. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this type of arrangement. Um, this is a very kind of wild, I like to call feminine fall centerpiece kind of bouquet. It has a lot of just really beautiful muted colors in it. It's yellow and red and this muted mauve pink and just little pops of light pink and white and greenery. I just am absolutely obsessed with the way this turned out. This weekend I am hosting Florence's second birthday party and for the first time ever I am actually not really having a party. Both of our families coming over for a dinner, keeping it super simple. I feel like by the third child I have learned that the second birthday party is one you can just keep it super mellow. So I wanted to just set a really beautiful table. I wanted it to be fall-like, but I also wanted it to be feminine. So I wanted this centerpiece to kind of reflect that and the tablescape that I'm gonna to put together this weekend, which I will share with you Monday. So subscribe and tune back in on Monday so you can see how the party tablescape turned out, kind of more of like a fun, elegant two-year-old dinner party. But today we're gonna to be putting together this flower centerpiece. I went and I picked up a bunch of flowers at our local wholesale mart. Um, I've done a lot of centerpieces on here lately where they're Trader Joe's flowers, but because I really wanted specific flowers and had an idea in mind, I headed down to our wholesale mart so I could kind of pick and choose what I wanted. I also picked up two of these white baskets there. They reminded me of just kind of like a simple rustic apple picking basket, vintage-ish, and I liked that. I liked that they were white, kind of girly and feminine, but I also liked that they were very fallish. So um, this is what we're working with today for the container. In Side, I do have a wet floral foam ready to go. I had soaked that for about five minutes and now we're ready to get started with our project. For today's ingredients, we are working with this beautiful acacia plant, the most gorgeous muted mauve carnations. I love these. I love the way that they look. They're very ruffly and feminine. I also have this kind of maroon wax flower. I have this prickly yellow and red twig-like plant. This is called bittersweet. This is a little bit pricey, but they only come out with this once a year, and I just absolutely love it. I feel like it gives the centerpiece a really pretty look. It's white and green kale, which I'm gonna show you how to transform it into a beautiful looking flower. I have uh, this millet, which is very fall-like, and I also have this pink berry um, kind of filler plant, which is called coffee berry. So that is it for our ingredients today. Let's get started. As you know, first we're gonna work on our base. We're gonna work on using the greenery and fillers, and then we're gonna then we're gonna build it from there. So I'm gonna start with our greenery. <laughs> done it is nothing fancy there's not really a lot of tips and tricks to it you literally just stick it it is a little wild looking but you want it to be full so that when you go to place all the other stuff you don't have to use as much of the more expensive flowers so now I'm going to work on the wax flower filler and the coffee berry filler <laughs> got the greenery done, I've got the filler done, and now I'm going to add the millet, and then I'm gonna show you a really cool part um, of how to work with the kale. Okay, so there's that. Now it's time to add our flowers and the larger visual elements to our centerpiece. So I learned a really cool trick uh, not too long ago with using this kale. This looks like a head of lettuce, um, but I bought this at the flower mart. I've also seen these sometimes at Trader Joe's or other markets. So if you're looking to do something similar, you can try that. But a really cool trick is what you can do to make this kind of look like a huge rose is that you just want to peel off some of the larger leaves here. So peel those off. So now you'll see I just have the, the white portion. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna very gently start kind of folding back the leaves and opening this up in order of where they're layered. 
So you're just gonna slowly start peeling them back and opening this kale cabbage piece up. Look at that. Isn't that awesome for after? Look at that. Doesn't that look like a really pretty, big pretty rose? It's huge. This is like kind of interesting. This is a really thick stem. So what I wanna do is cut it down and just have it come on the lower bottom portion of this and kind of hang over the front. Do my best to nuzzle it in here. This is the back side. I'm going to be adding our really pretty carnations here. Again, I absolutely, you guys, carnations, again, they get such a bad rap, but look how pretty this color is. Look how ruffly it is. Again, just give it a good twirl, fill in where needed. Last touch to this gorgeous centerpiece is this really just fancy bittersweet. And I love this. I like the kind of wildness to it. It kind of twists and turns. It's very fall. It's very, the colors are just gorgeous. I'm just gonna stick it right here down in the middle. I like that it's just wild up top here. Here they are guys, they're done. Totally loving them. I just love the bittersweet. I feel like it adds a really great touch to the feel. And the feminine fall flower centerpiece special. You will see these in action on my tablescape that I'm coming back to share with you on Monday. So if you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment below. I try to always respond to people. I hope that you enjoyed today and hope that you learned something new. So you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.